Zula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and wig on, good to go. Beakers bubbling, turning blue. Motors making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space. It sounds even bigger when I say it. In fact, everything I say sounds important. War! This time I'll get a hole in one. Oh, a hole in one thousand would be an improvement. Tell me again, why do you play golf? It relaxes me! I can see that. Maybe those regular size holes are just too itty bitty for you. Trexy, you're right. I just need some bigger holes. Now, where would I find some really big ones? Mercury? Why are they going to Mercury? Because they're crater raiders, and Mercury has oodles of craters. Is that why Gorga made a giant cheese ball shaped like Mercury? <laughs> he made the craters with his snout. Who's the party for, Moldo? A group of crater raiders is dropping by on their way back from Mercury. You know, I'm a charter <laughs> member of the Greater Crater Raider Society. What's a crater raider? Crater raiders are Zuleans whose hobby is traveling through space taking photographs of craters. Then they rate them, which is like giving a grade according to which ones they like best. I'll bet they're on Mercury rating some exciting craters right now. I rate this crater one gabullion. I rate this one a double gabullion. That one looks like my Aunt Edna. I've got to give it three gabullions and a winkle. We're visiting Mercury, Mercury. Closest planet to the sun. We're visiting Mercury. Mercury. For craters, it's our favorite one. There's never any atmosphere. Still, I can help but like it here. It's tiny and it's rocky and it's bare. But we'll just learn to love it more. Right down to its iron core. Cause Mercury's got craters everywhere. <laughs> Back to the ship, Raiders. There are more craters to rate. I don't get it. It was working fine when we landed. Allow me to introduce myself. True Muda, bus driver to the stars. You folks need a ride? You call that a bus? <laughs> That's what you get when you pick something up cheap on Flea Bay. Did your mustache just talk? Yeah, uh, what mustache? Climb aboard! <laughs> Raider Raiders, huh? So you must know where all the best craters are. Our very next stop is one of Mercury's coolest. It's called... Uh, is your beard taking notes? Yeah, what beard? I uh, say, where do you find the biggest craters on Mercury, huh? Mm. Crater rating sounds like fun. I'd love to be a Zula Berry Burger Raider. Crater raiders don't do it just for fun. <laughs> Studying one planet's features, like craters, can teach you about other planets, too. Comparing Mercury to Earth, for example, can tell you a lot about Earth. Let me show you what I mean with my Multopedia. Mercury is like Earth in many ways. Just like Earth, 
Mercury has an iron center and a rocky crust or outer part. I said rocky, not rockin'. Whew, now where was I? Oh, yes. Just like Earth, Mercury has craters. I haven't seen too many craters on Earth. There are some we can see, like the Behringer Crater in Arizona. But most have been destroyed over billions of years or are hidden under plant life or the oceans. But Mercury's craters are out in the open and easy to see. All those craters tell us that Mercury was hit by a lot of space rocks and other space rubble. And since Earth also has craters, then that means Earth, too, was hit by space rocks at one time. But Mercury's still very different from Earth. Mercury's much smaller than Earth, really just a little bigger than Earth's moon. It has no air to breathe, and because it's the closest planet to the sun, the part of its surface that faces the sun gets really, really hot. That reminds me, the Zula Berry Burgers are getting really, really cold. I wonder if the crater rate has arrived yet. The crater raiders still aren't here. I just tried to radio them and they didn't respond. Oh dear, I hope they're not in any trouble. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Those are our cold weather coats, but Mercury's the closest planet to the sun. So isn't it really, really hot? It is hot on one side, but it's freezing cold on the other. How can Mercury be so hot on one side and so cold on the other? I have a hypothesis. There are frozen yogurt mountains on the cold side of Mercury, and that's what keeps it cool. Yummy hypothesis, but wouldn't the frozen yogurt melt when that part of Mercury turned towards the sun? But what if the melted yogurt ran around to the cold side and froze again? Frozen yogurt mountains and frozen yogurt rivers? I can't wait to get to Mercury. Gorg and I will search the cold night side. Molto, you and Zeter can take the hot day side. And Wizzy and Wig, I want you to search the place where the day side and the night side come together. It's called the Terminator. But be careful, it's super hot on one side and super cold on the other. Bring it on. We're ready for anything. <laughs> We've been searching for a while, but there's no sign of the Crater Raiders. Any luck on the day side? Not so far. How about you, Wizzy and Wig? What's happening at the Terminator? Nothing on the warm side. Or on the cold side of the Terminator. Huh. The sun's been about to set for hours. I bet the days here last forever. Maybe the really long days have something to do with the temperature on Mercury. <gasps> hey, Gorg is onto something. Gotta go. This crater's called the Caloris Basin. Very big! <laughs> I like it! Caloris Basin, you got it? I got it! I got it already! Bula calling the Zula Patrol. We just found the Crater Raiders and they're fine. <laughs> Looks like they got a lift from some bus driver. Uh-oh. <laughs> a painted egg? Gorga, it's not Easter. Dark Trudy! <laughs> Crater Raiders, that's no bus driver. That's Dark Truder. You're too late, Drula Patrol. I've got everything I need on this list. <laughs> You've got the list, right? Got it. Now I can steal the biggest craters on Mercury and make my own private golf course. I'll hit a hole in one every time. If we'd known your plan, we'd never have shown you all these great craters. You're not stealing anything, Truder. How many times do I have to tell you? We do the rotten stuff first, then we brag about it. <sighs> I was going to use this to scoop up the craters, but first... <laughs> ah! <laughs> if you want to steal Mercury's best crater, you'll have to go through us. Ooh, goody! <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Well, Mercury.
Mercury's gravity, the invisible force that pulls things toward a planet, is much lower than Earth. So if we all jump... Molto, we figured out why Mercury has one side that's really hot and another that's really cold. We saw that a day on Mercury is really, really long. 176 Earth days, to be precise. And that means that the side facing the sun gets hot and stays hot for a really long time. And the side facing away from the sun gets cold and stays cold for a really long time. But that's only half the story. More importantly, Mercury has no atmosphere or air to keep the heat in, like Earth's atmosphere does. So the side that's not facing the sun loses heat very quickly. Speaking of cold, we better get a move on before it gets too cold for our outdoor party. And for the first time ever, we award a rating of Super Duper Kabooian to the Zula Patrol. How come I never win an award? I wouldn't mind winning a Gabooian or even half a Gabooian. Hmm, one measly winkle. Welcome to the Molto Moment, Mercury lovers! We can learn a lot about Earth by studying other planets. Mercury and Earth, for example, both have iron centers and rocky outer crusts. My mom cuts off the crusts! <laughs> and both have craters, too, though Earths are harder to find. But there's also many differences. Mercury is much closer to the sun. It has no air or atmosphere, and it's also a lot smaller. 18 Mercuries would fit inside Earth. Also, Mercury rotates much more slowly than Earth, which means that each day on Mercury takes 176 Earth days. Because of this, the side of Mercury facing the sun gets very, very hot, and the side facing away from the sun gets very, very cold. Till next time, bye bye <laughs>